In his 50 years at Anfield, there have been 11 managers, Shankly to Klopp. Six European Cups, there have been doubles and trebles, and through it all, one voice. Can you do the voice for me? The voice, yes. There'll be two minutes of added time, two minutes. In the Anfield terraces in the early 70s, a whinge to his wife about the match announcer led George Sefton to send a letter to the club offering his services. I'm still a fan. That's the thing. His first match was 50 years ago, this month, and he told me it's still the best job in the world. This place on a, a match day is magic even now. Seeing Liverpool on the TV, you see, that's a great atmosphere. Until you get inside of a match day when they're in full flight, you have no conception of what it actually feels like. Who's been your favourite manager over the years? Oh, well, um, I say to people that Jürgen is the only manager in my 50 years who was fit to stand shoulder to shoulder with Bill Shankly. People look at me and say, well, what about Kenny? Yes! And I say, well, the thing is, I don't think of Kenny as a manager. He was a manager, a terrific manager, won a silverware, but he was also a great player. You know, I still say he's the best person I've ever seen here, not just our side, but all in all, and that includes half a million quid a week Messi. When talking about the history of this club, inevitably, some events can't go unmentioned for long. George's job is a home game gig, so he wasn't working on Saturday the 15th of April, 1989. He gave his ticket for the match at Hillsborough to his son. It was an hour and three quarters between watching the things happen on TV and him finding a phone box somewhere out in the hills and ringing. And I think that was the longest couple of hours of my life. How it must have felt for the parents who got a different phone call, I just can't be begin to imagine. I really, I, and I say, thank you. Worst year we got through it. But the blame shift that then happened was just despicable. Yeah. Well, that was the thing. Yeah, and that's as low as you can go, isn't it? We've got the truth. We haven't got justice. In, in the Liverpool team... The voice from the box. It's more than team news and playing terrace anthems. It's the words that fit. Some to comfort, some in sheer exhilaration. Stevie G scored a blinding goal. Well, I just absolutely got hysterical. And I don't normally do hysterical. But on the odd occasion? Just occasions like that. I was so desperate for us to get back in the European Cup final. And uh, we were thinking, oh no, we're out, we're finished. And then that happened. And obviously we went on, won it in uh, Istanbul, so it was, it was quite something. After five decades and with enough stories to fill a book, George talks about retirement at some point, but not yet. He was here through all the months of almost empty stands. Now the fans are back. He's going nowhere. 